Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. So do you want to update to a high-speed, efficient, and stable fiber optic network? And we talked about the pump basics in the previous video. How to set up a complete network might be overrun. So in today's video, we are going to guide you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up your own fiber optic network using PON technology. And you can also visit our website through the link down in the description box below to view our comprehensive solution page. And our team of experts are here to provide you with the solution that tailored to your specific need. So passive optical network technology is the backbone of modern internet connectivity, revolutionizing how we access the internet. And its significance lies in its ability to deliver ultra-fast and reliable internet services to homes, businesses, and institutions. Pons use optical fiber, allowing data to travel at the speed of light, ensuring swift and uninterrupted internet experience. And one of the key advantages of Pons is their cost effectiveness, enabling service providers to efficiently serve multiple users without compromising on speed or quality. Moreover, PONS contribute to environmental sustainability by reducing power consumption and electronic waste. PON technology is providing seamless internet connectivity, supporting digital innovation, and connecting people globally in our fast-paced and digital age. So a passive optical network is a modern internet technology that different from the traditional broadband setup by using optical fiber instead of copper wires. In a pond system, there are three main components. The optical line terminal OLT in the provider's office and the optical network unit also known as optical network terminal ONU or ONT is at the user's end and also the optical splitter that can divide the signals. A PON offers advantages like higher bandwidth for faster speed, longer reach without signal loss and scalability and making it a cost-effective and efficient choice for high-speed internet connection. So in order to set up a passive optical network, several crucial tools and equipments are required, including fiber optic cable, fiber distribution boxes, connectors, splitters, optical line terminal, and optical network unit, optical network terminal that we just talked about. And these components work together and establish a high-speed internet connection. And the quality of this tool is paramount, ensuring reliable and efficient data transmission. So using top-notch components can guarantee a stable network, minimizing downtimes and optimizing the overall performance of the PON network, making quality a key consideration in any installation. So now we have moved in front of the demonstration board, and later we'll do a PON connection together step by step. So a well-thought-out network plan is essential for a successful passive optical network, a PON setup. So selecting strategic location for key components like the OLT, optical line terminal, the optical network terminal, ONT, is crucial. Factors such as distance and potential obstacle between these components need careful consideration. And a proper planning can ensure efficient data transmission and optimal network performance. So you should choose a suitable location and addressing the potential obstacle to ensure seamless connectivity, reducing signal loss and enhancing the overall reliability of the PON network. So now we are going to do the connection together and explain the components along the way. So first, we need to install the OLT. It needs to be connected to an internet source, which is a router to provide network. And it is already powered up by a reliable power supply source. So first, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect it to the router. 
and the Gigabit Ethernet port. Those are the Gigabit RJ45 port, and those are the Gigabit Ethernet SFP slots. Those are the PON port. This is a G-PON OLT SFP transceiver, and we'll need this to connect to the fiber optic cable. So let's plug it into the PON slot using a fiber optic cable to connect with it. Just like this, coming to our optical splitter. And you should choose a strategic optic location for the optical splitter, ensuring proper signal distribution. And we need to connect the optical splitter to the main fiber line, which is the one that I just connected to the OLT, and dividing the signal accurately to reach individual ONT. So this splitter is a 2 in and 16 out optical splitter. Next, I'm going to use another Ethernet cable to connect it with our ONT. Plug it into the ONT like this. And we need to link the ONT to the router, providing internet access to the end user's devices. So coming over here to the router. And you can also choose to connect with an IP cameras and other devices. And one more thing, our ONT here actually has a Wi-Fi version. By using this one, you don't need a router. All you need to do is connect the fiber optic cable to this Wi-Fi version ONT. You can also connect several devices using this ONT. So by following these steps meticulously, the passive optical network installation ensures efficient connectivity, minimal signal loss, and reliable internet services for end users. And don't forget, proper configuration, cable management, and attention to the detail are vital in creating a robust and high-performance optical network. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining us. If you like our video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Fast Cabling. And I'll see you in the next video.